Hey guys, welcome back to Tech It. So, one of you asked me, yeah, this blaze rod generator is pretty cool, but how does it look when there's multiple of them? So, always happy to oblige you guys. So, what I did here is 13 of them. And instead of macerators, I'm using rotary macerators, which are a bit faster. I powered them up to full speed with four and it's either three or four overclockers in each of them. Now, these are not ideally sort of timed and stuff so they'll overflow a little bit but you know you get the idea so when I tried this I just had one energy condenser here that was making diamonds and it was actually filling up so fast so I made three and I haven't tried it afterwards so just to prove to you that this is all empty all empty all empty um, what I did do is I already filled these with blaze rods um, because then they'll be working at maximum capacity and once they get full they'll never empty again so oh this is not full actually oh, it's horrible can I, can I make it full? not really <laughs> not with that how about that? no? okay doesn't matter I can still sort of show you what happens so let's start it so I put the timer at 0.5 not the fastest but still kind of fast so there we go so this lovely blaze powder going around trying to find a way to go and I think everything is full now so now it's sort of trying to fill up these empty holes that I have and I was actually caught a big hole hmm might have to help it along a little bit at start because um, it's not running at full capacity yet so let's get some diamonds down blocks Stop raining. Yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible. Is that full now? Almost. One more and I'll be full. No, nope, one more. One more. Yeah, there we go. No. Almost. How about that one? That's full. That's full. Oh, this is empty. Oops. There we go. That's full. Uh, was that that one? Yep. That's full. Nope. There we go. Took that out so it'll be a bit slower. But I just want to have it running at maximum capacity. And it'll get to maximum capacity by itself. But it just takes a long time. But of course if you're on a multiplayer server. Hey, where's my damn... <laughs> Don't leave that in there. That'll be cheating. Uh, if you're on a multiplayer server, you can just let this run overnight and it'll fill itself up without any sort of... You don't have to put diamonds in it and stuff. Um, but for now, we'll just do it this way so I can show you at an accelerated pace. Now... Getting there. That's all for. So... You can see that I did these first, so that's all going now. This is still trying to fill something up. Is that not full? No, it's not. What oh, is almost? Cool. We have two out of three running. But anyways, I'll show you. It's still filling up too fast. I'll have to put another condenser. <laughs> but already it's made 128 diamonds here. And about 60 here now. And this is starting now as well. So all in all, if we let this run and we just let's just have a look at it, you know, it looks it looks gorgeous. And what I would recommend is probably putting more condensers and just put for every two you have, put one condenser down that's making diamonds or something. Uh just because it reduces lag as well, because there'll be less items going through the pipes. Um but as you can see there's already three stacks of diamonds in there. There's two in here and there's probably one in here. Yeah. So that's already four stacks of diamonds. Five. And still going. Still trying to fill that up a bit. It's a bit weird. I might have not filled them up properly or not connected the power properly. Because this side is going the way it's supposed to be. And uh, this side as well, just this side is not not really fluent yet, which is a bit weird. It's a bit weird. Are you going at full speed? Yep. Hmm, sweet. Anyways, yeah. Oh, there we go. Now it's going. So look at that. That's two stacks. 
That's three and a half, which makes it five and a half. Uh, it's eight and a half, nine and a half, ten. Ten stacks of diamonds in what a minute? Pretty nice, and it. You know, you might think it's expensive to make. Well, it's not really. Uh, rotary macerators are kind of cheap, but you can use a normal macerator as well. Same effect, really. Um, it'll work at about the same speed, or maybe a little bit less fast. Um, two filters, cheap as. Engine condensers, kind of cheap to make. Uh, the only expensive thing would be the blaze rods. But what I would suggest is make one of them, like this compact model that I showed you in a previous um, tutorial. Make one of them, just get one blaze rod from somewhere, put it in there, and just let it do its thing. You know, don't don't add diamonds to it uh, if you don't have any. Just let it do its thing, wait for a full day when you go to school or work or anything. And when you come back, it'll be working at full speed. And then start the next one, the next one, the next one. Um, and you can sort of expand from there. But as you can see, this is not optimal at all. As there's a lot of blaze rods being made and sort of being put in these bottom slots um, and wasted. But still, you can see the potential of this thing. It's absolutely insane. I mean, there's, I don't know how many stacks of diamonds in here and here. It's insane. So this probably ranks not probably, this definitely ranks in the highest of my EMC generators. It's just the fastest and the most compact one. If you look at each of these, it's probably capable of producing a couple of diamonds a minute. And it's a three by two block. That's really all it is, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And um, I might do another one of these sort of mega sort of projects with the dark room. Uh, I did stop this one, I think, yeah, um, and I might just get 10 of these or 13 of these running at the same time as well and then see which one does better, um, but definitely that one, the blaze rods will work better for sure. Cool, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.